What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be trying something new here for you guys on the channel. As you guys know, I buy a lot of stuff for my cars, uh, aftermarket parts, you know, uh, strut bars, intakes, uh, exhausts, so on and so forth. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of a product that I've recently bought for the S2000 and that is the Ingles uh, engine torque damper for the S2000, as you can see right there. So let's go over to the uh, table and start getting the uh, context, contents unboxed. All right, so as you guys see here, this is the Ingles uh, engine torque damper or uh, ETD as I like to call them. Uh, these things are really good. I've had them before. It's not my first time ever owning one of these or installing one on one of my vehicles. It worked wonders on my RSX. As you can see here on the box itself, it says that it dramatically improves handling and off the line accelerations. Uh, minimizes wheel hop and reduces shock loads when tires uh, lose and regain traction during drifting. Now, I don't know about the whole drifting thing. However, I do know firsthand that it did minimize wheel hop on my RSX um, and it did improve off the line performance uh, onto the RSX that I used to own as well. Uh, you guys uh, probably haven't seen it or anything like that, but um, it was a really nice car. I loved it uh, like crazy and you know what it was very well worth the money on there um, For what you pay for them and it comes with everything you need. It's a very easily Installed product as well. So with that being said, let's get into the context of the product So opening the box as you can see I already you know had already cut all the tape off and stuff. So opening the box You immediately see the the uh, torque damper right here the engine torque damper this is just the product itself uh, I've already opened it to see the quality of the of this product and it looks fantastic you can see the uh, it says Ingles on there it looks fantastic the quality I've always been uh, a big fan of the quality of the torque dampers that they produce um, and I would highly say that this is probably one of the best engine torque dampers on the market um, or manufacturers that produces engine torque dampers I think these are very high quality and I highly recommend them so that's what it looks like uh, basically what it does is one side mounts to something on the chassis something you know very hard and, and things like that and the other side basically just mounts up on the motor so every single time you step on the acceleration uh, the motor likes to move a little bit and what this does it forces the motor to stay still um, some people complain that because it does that it creates more vibration in the inside of the vehicle but if you're gonna be building a race car then that vibration doesn't you know it's irrelevant doesn't mean anything um, and that's basically what I'm doing with me with the s2000 so uh, this is one of those things that I'm I I know I'm gonna be needing so um, that's the torque damper itself now this right here is just a little cover that they have and under here is all the hardware and everything um, and the brackets so just removing that I'll set it aside it gives you like um this little graph with all the with all the information stuff if you want you can push pause and read all of this stuff if you want uh, but I'm just gonna set it aside so Immediately the one of the first things you see is you know the instructions. It does have very thorough instructions It's very simple to understand uh, and everything like that and quite frankly, I don't really think you need it um, But if you're mechanically inclined and everything like that this instructions are very good um, Or pretty good I should say uh, and it also has you know illustrations uh, Images and stuff like that so that you can see uh, what it's supposed to look like That's a you know an AP 2s 2000 that you can see right there in the picture and just like mine and basically what it's going to look like once installed so the instructions set that aside now this is the bracket that is actually going to be installed on the strut tower um if you guys recall from one of my previous videos i recently installed uh a uh strut tower bar or strut bar if you will and i'm not I'm gonna have to remove that and put the strut bar on top. I'm actually hoping that it actually, that both of them fit together just fine. If not, then I'm probably just gonna go with the ETD versus uh, the uh, strut bar because, you know, it does have 
it does have a strut bar but I can use the ETD a lot more than the strut bar um, but because it does have the double wishbone suspension and with a double wishbone suspension you don't really need a strut tower bar you need more uh, that uh, strut bar for more of a like a McPherson style strut um, because just the mechanics of how they work and everything like that it creates more chassis flex and all that stuff so with a McPherson strut with a double wishbone suspension sorry that's my ESPN app let me put my phone on vibrate but anyways uh, because the uh, the uh, double wishbone suspension has less flex you don't really need one but it does stiffen up your chassis a little bit better so there's always a place for them uh, whether or not it does much or not you know it still it still does work but if that's the case if I have to choose between the ETD and the uh, strut tower bar I'm just gonna go with the ETD so this is gonna be replacing that hopefully I can do them both at the same time but we'll see so like I said, this is the part that um, connects to your strut tower bar and your ETD will actually hook up to this thing right here. This is very good piece of metal and it is going to be very durable. So let's set that aside. Of course, it comes with all the hardware you need, uh, bolts, nuts, uh, everything like that. So you shouldn't need anything other than the bolts that comes with it. Nothing special here to see. So. You'll see more of that uh, once the install starts here in a separate video. And once you take this box out, you see the last piece, which is it should go like this on the front of the S2000 motor. And it has the nice little Ingalls logo right here. And all again, it's solid metal. I'm not entirely sure what kind of metal uh, it is, but it is solid metal. And it's, uh, if I had to guess, it's you know some sort of steel but um, it is very well made manufactured and you know this is where it's gonna bolt on it's gonna bolt on right here right here and then right here and then on the top portion right here is where the other half of your um, torque damper is gonna go and this is basically where it hooks up to your motor and the other piece is gonna hook up to your chassis so that's it guys um, let me know what you guys think um, I'm actually thinking about painting. I'm actually thinking about painting these two, the part that connects to the chassis and the part that connects to the uh, to the motor. Um, not sure what color, if I should even do it. Um, you guys let me know in the comments down below. So let me know if I should paint these. So there you guys go. That was the uh, engine door damper uh, unboxing that I'd have for the S2000. It's gonna be well, at least it should be relatively simple of an install. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, it you know goes hand in hand or, or be able to install it side by side, if you will, with the uh, with the strut tower bar that I have. Um, if you look at it right here, it's gonna be under here where this connects under this strut bar, and it's actually gonna sit back here. So I'm hoping that there's you can see there's not a lot of room. But I'm hoping there's going to be enough room so that I can, you know, put the uh, engine torque damper and the strut bar, you know, basically so that they can work together. Uh, because right now, um, it's making me nervous. But if I had to choose, I'll say it again. I'm just going to go with the ETD versus the, um, the strut tower bar. And then I'll just sell the strut tower bar. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the uh, engine torque damper and uh, down in the comments down below. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.